So welcome people of God. So I'm going to drop this word off here and let you sit with this word and let this word locate land and live on the inside of you. Um, I'm going to give some context to this word because I really feel like the title alone, I know it got you in here. I know it, it stimulated you. I, I know it, it got you here, but I really want to give context to this word because every word that I release here, if you are governed here, if you gleam here, if you live here, then you understand that everything that God has called me to is about performance. Um, the last thing that I want or need to be as validated as a prophet. We all can prophesy. I want for you that are governed here, you live here to know that this is a house of performance. And so I have to give you understanding. The Bible says that to those who hear and understand. So I want to give some understanding to this word because it is an amazing word from the Lord. Um, this word is going to challenge your growth. This word is gonna challenge your own personal maturity. If you are on the membership side of this channel, then all year, God has been challenging your growth and your maturity with what you know concerning him. Um, and so this word is gonna challenge those of you that are not on that side with your own growth and maturity. So last night I had a dream and in the dream I saw like a Burger King. I feel like at one point I was actually like in the Burger King talking to the kid of someone famous. And we were just kind of like, just, just talking, like just talking, having some conversation. And even that was God showing me proximity to wealth. And so after coming up out the dream, it felt like the Burger King was actually a house. It didn't even seem like it was a Burger King, but I knew from the outside it was a Burger King. Now, if you are familiar, Burger King had this slogan way back in the day, and I heard it in my time with the Lord this morning, and the slogan was, have it your way. And I understand in the body of Christ, that level of freedom and empowerment to have it your way is scary. It may even seem taboo, controversial. It is um, an abomination to put that in front of God's children. It's Bible nonetheless. It's Bible nonetheless. I would challenge any of you that are struggling with that word for right now to read Romans 12, 1 and 2, to read Ephesians 3 and 20, and to read Matthew 18 and 18. I would challenge you to read those three passages of scripture alone. The Bible says it is a witness of three that establish a matter. But I want to put it in front of you, the word of the Lord, to have it your way. And, I, and this is a word that I want you to lean into intentionally. Because the truth of the matter is, some of us have been having it our own way unintentionally. We have not realized the level of agreement and access and authority that we have given to having it our own way when that way was against us. The words that we speak, the posture that we have. If it's one thing I want to challenge y'all with, and, I, and I've been saying this, I feel like I said it a couple of times on the community page, and I said it in the word yesterday. I want you to stop speaking against what it is you want in your life. I want you to stop speaking against it. When you talk about how hard life is, how rough it is, I'm tired of this, I'm sick of this, you are talking against the goodness of God concerning your life. You are putting yourself, I am, in agreement with a posture that's not yours. David showed us in the Psalms that we can speak, people of God hear me, you can speak to your own soul. David said, why are you downcast, oh my soul? Why are you downcast, mind? Why are you worrying? Why are you downcast, emotions? Why are you flip-flopping, will? Like he was speaking to his soul. Your, your mind, your emotions, and your will, they encompass your soul. Why are you downcast? Bless the Lord, oh my soul, with all that is within me. Bless his holy name. God does not want you going through what you're going through on the way to having it your way, heavy and tired and always just speaking about how you feel. No, 
And let me tell you something. This is not no toxic positivity. If we think encouraging ourselves in the Lord is toxic positivity, how in the world are we walking out Romans 4 and 17? How are we walking that out? If we not utilizing our authority over ourselves and calling those things to be not as though they were. Let me tell you what's toxic. Being depressed, being heavy, overthinking and worrying for years, not having no authority over how I felt. Help me, Holy Ghost. Help me, Holy Ghost. I want to encourage you to encourage yourself in the Lord. God has, God has put in front of you. God has put in front of you, right, this access to have it your way, right? And this is not a circumstantial thing. This is something that God wants you to now be governed in for you to understand and see how Jesus spoke to circumstances that were against him, how Jesus spoke to the storm, how Jesus spoke to the mountain, how Jesus spoke to demons, how Jesus spoke to sin. Stop speaking about it and speak to it. Oh, I've been speaking to it, Romania, then keep speaking to it. Because the Lord has put in front of you, the Lord has put in front of you the agreement, the anointing, the access to have it your way. What you allow, right? What you allow on earth will be allowed in heaven. What you forbid on earth will be forbidden in heaven. I don't want you to despise where you are. I don't want you to hate where you are. Because every single thing that you've been through, all of it is packaged for your promotion. All of it will be used for the glory of the kingdom. All of it is for the goodness of God. God is saying there's an anointing for you to have it your way. Agree with the word of the Lord. Agree with the word of the Lord. Agree with the word of the Lord. I am praying for each and every one of you in Jesus' name.